Wednesday workout with Roseanne White. Hi, everybody. I'm here live in Scottsdale, Arizona in my virtual training room to take you today through a triform barbell and glute blaster workout. So welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the workout. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. I'm using ear pods these days. I'm hoping that the sound will be better for you. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Also, if you have the glute blaster hip thrust machine, and if you've got your Triform weight lifting system yet, we just launched that just a couple of weeks ago. The, the glute blaster has been around for a while, and I will put in the chat box two other uh, workouts that I did with the glute blaster. So I'll put that in as our session goes on. And speaking of chat box, let me make sure I have the ch chat box available. So I can see you guys. And I'll tell you what, let me put those workouts in right. Yeah, I, I'll do it after the show. Okay. So you see in my hands, I've got two resistance bands. These actually come with the glute blaster. So if you're not familiar, I'm just going to go briefly. I'm not here to really talk about the glute blaster as much as to show you how to incorporate these two pieces of equipment together in a workout. So we've recently in Life Pro, we've been launching a lot of different products for legs and hips, whether it's in recovery with compression garments or the Intensiflex, the Squat Wedge Pro, the Incline X. Um, the Glute Blaster has been around for a bit. And if you are new to lunges and squats and you're not quite ready for that single leg split Bulgarian squat, the Glute Blaster is the way to go. And uh, I've just done several uh lives with the triform system it's three in one it's the uh, single dumbbell it's a kettlebell and it's a barbell and i love barbell training workouts i've been doing those kind of workouts gosh for well over 20 years so anyhow welcome i am so happy that you've joined me and if you miss it if you just catch the end of it or you, you've got to run don't worry this is going to be available on the life pro VIP page as well as the business page. Um, and if you're not familiar with our VIP page, when you purchase a, one of the Life Pro products, you become part of the VIP group. And it's a great group of people that help out, help each other to find ways to live healthier, to stay stronger, to recover from injuries or surgeries, to up our game if you're already on a great fitness path. So um, we've got Amber, Debbie, and I, plus our guardian angels, our Life Pro team to help you guys along. So I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about that. I want to show you what's going on here. So um, the Triform system, like I said, can be either a kettlebell, a, a dumbbell, which I showed you last Sunday with the Sculpt Trainer. I'm going to use the barbell system. Primarily, this glute blaster, it's called the hip thrust machine. That's how it's promoted as the whole title name, is just for that. It's to strengthen the hips. And what I have found that there are like four, about four main things that I like to do on this machine. One is deadlifts because it gives me great form. One is what's called the sissy squat, typical, uh, different than a sumo squat or a squat where we, we hinge and tip forward. The sitsy squat's more of an upright squat, and you'll, I'll demonstrate that. And then if you are new to lunges or you hate lunges, I don't. I love lunges because they work so many parts of your leg. But if you're not comfortable with lunges, this product will help you to get the best form. By the way, the load here is 220. It would hold a person 220 pounds and 6'3". So that means my husband can even get on this machine. Um, so deadlift, sissy squat, lunge, and hip thrust. That's the name of the product, the hip thruster. So I'm going to demonstrate with my triform um, bar all of those in combination with upper body work. Now, I have in my hands the resistance bands that attach to the hip thrust machine. And I'm not going to use those today, but this is if you don't have the barbell that these uh, attach onto the machine. Again, it's another video. I'm not going to be demonstrating because I have a lot to show you. Um, and if you aren't sure of how to use it, check the, uh, the first video, the glute blaster video, because I go through everything about the machine. Uh, 
The second video, the glute blaster, is with the po power flow dumbbells, two dumbbells, but this is barbell training, so it's going to be a little different. Okay, so I'm going to set these guys aside. So I want to make sure that you're warmed up somehow, whether it's on a vibration platform, or they're just doing some uh, limb moving, just marching in place, just kind of doing a little bit of squats, but be warmed up. I don't want cold muscles when you start this workout because we're working big muscle groups and big joints. So I want to make sure you've got good, uh, the joint, the synovial fluid in the joint is warmed up so you're ready to rock and roll. I'm going to take the Triform, the adjustable barbell, and it goes from anywhere from, let's see if I can, I can't remember this yet, so I have to use my cheater here. My barbell goes from anywhere from four and a half pounds up to, 43 pounds. So I'm going to start my first series, the deadlift, the sissy squat, the lunge, and the hip thrust with just a very light bar, a very light bar. You might even just go four and a half pounds if your your arms tend to be a little weak. Um, I'm going to go nine pounds on this. So I've been thinking about how to pick this up that I don't hurt my back because I don't want you bending over. So straddle the bar, squat down, and you're going to slide up, and then you'll pick it up. And then you have the bar there. I think that's about the easiest way. It's like just doing a little bit of a deadlift squat rather than trying to lean over and bend over. Okay. So the first one is a deadlift. Okay. I'm going to add some arm movement to this. So what I'll do, I've adjusted my pad to support my legs in my sissy squat. There are rollers, rolling pads are under my toes that I've adjusted. So I've got everything adjusted for my height. I'm 5'6". Okay. So my deadlift is going to be just that. I can press back into the pads, the back of my thighs, slide the bar to my knees, back is flat, shoulders are braced, and then I come up. Again, this is very light, but I want to just, this will be a little bit more of a warm-up and form alignment. So think of your first set, just working on your form rather than trying to move a lot of weight. So when I sink back, belly is always in for the whole thing. When I come up, I don't want to thrust. Okay, I just want to feel the glute connection and then the hip hinge. So you can do about, because this is light, I would say about 8 to 10, 10 to 12, because we're going to do a couple more sets. And you get into the breathing, the inhale and the exhale, movement and breath, not momentum. And I'm going to do one more of these. Now, for my sissy squat, I'm going to go ahead and have the bar across my arms okay this is just going to keep my chest up and it's going to give me some weight if you're not familiar with the sissy squat let me just show you what's going to go on i'm going to sit back i'm going to bring the weight back with me and come up so it's a little scary in the beginning i trust yourself that you're not going to break in half when you do this and you come straight up take a big breath in keep sitting back head over shoulders shoulders over hips and come up i can feel my quads starting to, to work already and lift. Even though the pads behind me, I'm pressing a lot into my heels and my big toe mount. I don't want my toe, my toes to lift up. I've got the pad in front of me to help. So I keep my chest lifted into the bar and that way I don't collapse. These are a great way to do these sissy squats. There's no sissy involved in this. You're not a sissy if you're doing these squats at all takes courage to sit back like that and trust the machine. Slowly back and the breath takes you up. Let's do a few more. So this is my sissy squat. If you have any questions along the way, throw them in the chat, okay? And when I'm done with the live, I'll be checking out the chat and answer any questions you have. Great. Okay, now I'm going to go with the lunge next. The setup, a couple different ways. So I'm going to come out of it first. And I'm going to do a wide straddle. I'll put my one foot in front. My calf and knee are in the pad. I'm going to push off the, this plate here. Now, again, if you're new to lunges, you can always take your arm straight down. And, and I'm actually resting my knee on this pad. I get some hip extension here. You can just come up and down, straight up and down like this. But because I'm warming up a little bit, I'm going to put the bar behind my back, okay? I'm gonna put my hands on my belly. That way I'm thinking about abdominals press in and these hip points stay forward. I'm gonna do about eight reps on this side, pushing off the back foot, pushing to the front heel, 
try to get as much as you can a full extension into that hip crease. Palms can be up or on your belly. And one more. So I'll switch out. Okay. I'm going to kind of shimmy, shimmy, shimmy my foot back. Hips sit back. Find that knee pad. It's nice and soft, so it's not going to hurt your knee. Chest is up. Now, if you find, whatever reason, this is too much for your the front of your shoulders, you're tight, you can do what we did for the squats. You can hold the bar like this. And you can come up, lifting the chest into the bar. Breathing in, breathing out. I'm pushing off that back foot, pressing into the front. So why do I love lunges? Quads, hamstrings, calves, and glutes. It's a four-in-one exercise. Nice and tall, chin pulled in. And I'll just do two more of these. Great. Okay. Now, I am going to go into the hip thrust. That's my fourth exercise. And I've got a little bonus. I'm going to also add a single leg deadlift in the workout. Let me break that down for you just for a second while I'm in this lunge position. Okay, so if I came out of the lunge, so I can't, I've, here's my lunge position, right? And say the bar is gonna be down here. I'm gonna hinge forward, pressing my front calf into the pad, and I'm gonna bring my leg up. So my head has to come down when my leg comes up. If my head stays up, it's gonna be hard for, to lift my leg. So this one's gonna take some practice. It's a lot of balance. Again, if you're new to the single leg deadlift, put the bar here and hand on your hip. Make sure you don't conk into it, but come on down and up and just get the feel for the single leg deadlift. Okay, it takes a lot of strength to do it. Not for everybody, but you've got choices and you practice. Practice makes stronger and better. Okay, last kind of a introductory exercise with light barbell weight is the hip thrust. And I'm gonna move my machine just a little bit. Let's see how I wanna move this to make sure you can see me. I'm gonna put the bar down, that'll probably be helpful. Into the rack. Oops, there we go. And I'm just gonna go show you this from the side. So this is pretty light to move. It's about, I think, I wanna say 35 pounds. So it's not that heavy to move, really. Just gonna get an angle that you guys can see. You won't have to move your machine around when you're working out. Okay, so what I tell you, we're gonna squat. We're gonna take this out of the cradle. And now for the hip thrust with the bar on the pelvis. First of all, you're gonna sit down on this nice soft pad. Feet will come onto your base. Your back is against the pad. And I'm gonna anchor the bar right in my pelvis. My hands are gonna rest on my hips. And I'm driving into the heels, keeping the chin in and pressing up and down. So that's how we're gonna do the hip thrust. If you find, and you might find, this is a lot of strain on your neck, take one hand on the bar and one hand on the pelvis to start. But I gotta tell you guys, there's probably a reason why your neck can't support the weight. It's too much of this stuff in your life and not enough of the neck back head over the shoulder. So get used to strengthening the muscles in your neck because they're, they've been over flexed by computers and tablets and cell phones. So this is our hip thrust. I'm thrusting my hip into the bar and a strong breath here. This is a big muscle move. Exhale and inhale. You can even go wide on this if you want to kind of get a little bit more of the glute in here. So I'm really hitting the, the uh, deep into the hip sockets on this. Hitting a little more glute medius. And I'll do four more of these. So my gaze is at an angle and then I'm here. Driving into the heels. Great, okay. So that was the introduction to using the bar. Now we're gonna add on some weight to it. 
for this this particular workout, I'm going to stick with one weight selection. I don't want to spend a lot of time changing it around, but I'll tell you how maybe some exercises you can add more weight and some that you want to back off on weight. Anytime you're working shoulders, start light. But if you're doing things like dead rows and deadlifts, your back can take more so you can add it appropriately. So I will go to, let's see where I want to go with this. I think I've been playing around with this. I think I'm going to go to 16 pounds. That should be pretty good for everything I'm doing. Okay. So again, here's my new way to take the bar out. It just makes sense to me. You might find a different way. And maybe one day we'll come up with some kind of platform to hold this like we have with the power flows. Okay. So now first exercise combination, deadlift, forearm curl. So that means forearm curl is this to an, um, I take that back, a bicep curl to, a, oh, let me try it one more time. I had it. Forearm curl, okay, to a narrow shoulder press. That's it. I Two moves, okay? Let me show you or do it rather than talk about it. Okay, so I want to get in place here. Okay, so I'm standing nice and tall. I'm going to go ahead and do my deadlift. I come up. I've got a forearm curl. I'm going to sit back down and do a press, okay? So you like that combination? Deadlift, upright, forearm curl. I sit back in that sissy squat and press up. Now, my elbows, by the way, are narrow, okay? You don't want to wing out. You've got to squeeze in here to get that narrow press. A military press is different. This is narrow press. Okay, so let's go ahead. Stay with me, guys. Let's do um, eight more of these, okay, with in tempo. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. Take an inhale. Exhale, press up. Take it down. Inhale, hinge. Exhale. Inhale. Okay, I want to make sure there's breath and movement. You're hinging. You're coming up. Elbows in. Sitting back. And lift. How's that for form? I hope it's okay. <laughs> Hinge. Load up those glutes. And press. I guess I could go back a little bit further. See, I'm not watching myself, so I can't tell. I got to feel it. Up. Down. And press. Get a little bit more power in my lift. Pull it in, sit back, back, back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push it up. Let's go two more times. Big breath in, a long breath out. <sighs> Another deep breath and a push up. And here's my last one. A lot of heart, a lot of blood pumping. My heart, heart's beating pitter patter. And up. Okay, so I hope you like that combination. The next one, oh yeah. The next one is going to be a military press in a lunge, so I'm wider. I'm going to do a rotation, and then I'm going to do a lat row and a single deadlift. So that's a whole bunch of things going on. So let's talk about that lunge first, okay? And as I said, 16 pounds. So let me go ahead and I'll do the right leg first. I'm going to rest my knee on the pad. My military press, I've got to load that bar on the meaty part of my back, and elbows are forward. Okay, this is typical of most people, right? So we're talking about using a lot of back muscles here. And just by this move, I've got my glute fired up on the left. My right glute's going to fire up to lift, okay? So we're going to go into a lift press. Now, if you find... This isn't going to work for you because it's a lot of shoulder opening. Let me give you an option here, okay, because you should all have options. Elbows forward. We're going to press up. Okay. I'm going to do just a couple more, and I'm going to, I'm going to weave this in with my next move. Okay, so you had two choices, behind your head, on the shoulders, or in front. So here's how I'm going to add on. I'm going to rotate just my shoulders, my hips stay square. I'm gonna come back and press up. 
Take an inhale, exhale. Take an inhale, exhale, drive it up. Come on down. The head rotates with you. I keep the bar evenly pressed into my collarbones. So it's not my arms moving, it's my shoulders, chest, rib cage. You're using a lot of obliques on this. Wide on the press. Let's do three more. You'll get more rotation each time. Push it up. Last two. Yeah, I can feel I'm getting even turning better already. And one more. The next set, I'll show you facing forward. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up. I'm going to take this bar and put it far back. I'm going to lean forward, hinging at the hips. You can put the, your hand rest on the bar and let's row. Okay. I'm going to pull. So we're doing a lateral row, meaning I'm using my lats. Okay. From the armpit all the way back. You're going to feel a lot more of these obliques firing up. Watch the head. It doesn't uh, drop forward. You can put your hand here or behind. Reach and pull. Two more. And one more. All right. So, oh, one more thing. Forgot it. Layering on. The single deadlift with a wide row. Okay. I gave you the options in the early part of this. I'm going for it without, um, with the weight. So I'm going to find my single deadlift. I'm going to come up. The leg goes down. I'm going to lift. Notice I can't talk too much. It's a lot of concentration. And last one. Okay. Bring it back home. Ooh, Nelly. A lot of booty on that. So I have a lot on the, that glute. Okay. Round two. We're going to take it to the other side. So let me move the uh, glute blaster. I'm going to set this down. So you can see me from the front, guys. Okay. Because I think I want to make sure you can all angles. I'm going to turn this a little bit more. Make sure I'm still in the camera here. That better that angle work for you see if i can just let me know yeah i think that should be good okay oh i'm getting some break on this side so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead now and bring the left foot forward this is my left right foot back i'm going to set it down so remember i gave you the option i'm going to go ahead because i can put the bar behind me Again, front or back. So let's just feel what it feels like to rotate. Feel what it feels like to push up. My hair's in the way, but that's okay. Okay, just feel that first before we add on. My elbows are always forward because your shoulder blades, your scapula, need to be flat on the back to glide up and down when you do this. Okay, so we're going to add on. So we're going to go ahead and lunge up, reach. My hair is in the way. And rotate. Okay, both shoulders. Hold the bar. And then power it up. And back down. What, what I like about this, because many of us tend to shift our hips. So this hip stays forward as I rotate. And every time you do this, go a little, go slow on the rotation so you can feel shoulder going back, chest turning, ribs turning, but not hips. Okay, let's do three more. Lift and twist. I like to take a big exhale when I push up, breathe in, and a big exhale when I twist. All the air out. And here's my last one. And then back, okay? So I'm gonna pop this bad boy off. I'm gonna go ahead now into my wide row, hands wide. Okay, remember what I said about this. You've got to hinge forward, a nice flat back. The bar is gonna come up. So the foot comes down, the bar comes down, and we pull up and exhale. 
Keep looking down at the floor, elbows wide. Both glutes are working differently. One's a stabilizer. <laughs> the left is a stabilizer, the right's the mover and shaker, but they're both shaking. Four more. Elbows go wide. Three, two, and one. Okay. Now, from here, I'm going to go into my lateral row. I'm going to hold the edge of this, okay, or the end of it. Leaning forward, I'm going to give it a pull. Okay, I'm not changing my angle. My shoulders, this shoulder will comes forward, comes, shoulder blade comes forward a little bit, but I pull back. There's not a rotation there. So like I said, anywhere between eight to 10 reps. Your lats can take a heavy weight. So from that dead row, which I did at 16 pounds, I would even consider going up to 20 something because the lats are a big band of muscle that can take a lot. Okay, hip thrust, the moment we've all been waiting for, right? How this machine was designed. So let me make a little stage set adjustment because I want you to see this from the side. Okay. All right. Yeah, that should be good. So I demonstrated early on how the bar, which was very light, I had only nine pounds there, was resting on my hips. Now I'm going to go to a hip thrust with the chest press. If you are, you tend to bow out and can't remember because it's a lot going on to keep pushing into your inner heels grab one of those mini stability balls grab a pillow or maybe grab the resistance bands that we normally would use and and hold them between your legs to get that adductor connection that's going to help to lift your hips you won't cramp in the hamstrings as much that's just a little tip okay so here here i go Put the weight on my chest. I'm going to bear down into my heels. And then as I thrust up, I'm going to lift, push, chest, and down. Hinge, lift. So I'm right in line with the nipple line, if you will. Okay, take a break there. Rest, drive into the heels. It's a hip hinge. Push straight up. Come on down. Okay, my spine is not rounding at all. It's all the joints are working in angles. Hip joint, shoulder, and elbow. Okay, let's do four more. Press up, push up, in and down. Big exhale. Knees look pretty good. I'm just checking every time that I don't flail out. And here's one more for the road. And down. Okay, now we're gonna do a second set so you can take a little break here if you'd like. I was playing around with triceps, maybe thinking about holding the bar narrow. Okay, I've got a narrow grip, elbows hug in, and just taking it back. And this might be a little too much on some of you for your back. So if that's the case, let's kind of play it safe here, okay? We're going to push up. I'm going to press up. Once I'm up, elbows in. I'm going to take it back and squeeze the glutes. A little drop of the hips. If your neck and head start bothering you, take a break. You'll get strength as you do more of these. Three, two, and one. And come on down. Yeah, so I, I hear it all the time. Oh, it's too much of my neck. Get these muscles stronger. So that when you're standing around, these muscles actually work. Keep your head up. You'll feel a big difference. Like it's really easy to stand up straight after you've done that. Okay, guys, let's see how my time wise. Oh, we're about 30 minutes into it. Perfect. So I always like to leave these at about 30 minutes so you don't get too bored. I've given you deadlift, sissy squats, lunges, hip thrusts, and single deadlift, a little different because I'm lifting the back leg. 
lot of a lot of good activity. So make sure you stretch. It could be as simple stretch as uh, just going into your hamstring stretch. Okay, I'm gonna just give you a hamstring stretch. Square it up, right? You can go ahead and do a figure four stretch, sitting down. Depends how your hip flexibility is. My leg is straight. I'm gonna cross over, and as you get strong, more flexible, you bring it in closer. I can't tell you how good this feels after doing all that butt work. Okay, nice big stretch into the glute. Switch it out. I start with my leg far away. I'm gonna bring it in, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in, walk it in. I never pull on the foot, okay? Don't pull on your ankle. Pull on your uh, your shin bone. You can feel sits bones equally resting into the pads. Again, you've got a little angle of your spine, so chin is back. Breathe into the stretches. Let me do that other hamstring while I'm thinking about it so I'm not out of balance here. Okay, just kind of hinging over. And last but not least, when all else fails, I get out my sonic gun, right? And I go ahead and add a little bit of work to it. Let me get this guy to start for me. Come on, baby. Oh, don't tell me I out of juice. Nope. There it is. There we go. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna just hit those IT bands up a little bit. Okay, right down from top of the knee all the way up, in, right into the uh, glute medius. I'm gonna hit into the glutes, the piriformis. I might do a little bit hamstring all the way down the back there. So make sure that when you're, you know, do something to either get some blood flow into these areas. This is also, if you have it warmed up before your exercise, you could always use your, foam roller, your Surge Pro roller, but you want to make sure you're getting right into the, the soft part of your hip. That's where your IT band starts. Might even be a little tender if you're tight. All the way down. I don't go to the, the knee joint itself, just above the knee, right in that kind of bony area there, or um, fiber area, hamstrings. I want to work these guys a bit. I, I spend about 30 seconds in one area, then I'm going to go up to the glute. You can just Take the weight off the glute and then go right into there, the, right where the attachment of the hamstring is. I, this is my new favorite. Shut this off. This is my new favorite one. I love this prong. It's like I don't even change it, <laughs> change the heads much because I just love this one for so many reasons. Okay, guys, that's it. I got all I got for now. Roseanne White with Live Fit and Life Pro. Please hit me up if you have any questions. I'm going to put this uh, workout in the chat box on the Life Pro page and the Life Pro VIP page. That way um, you'll have the workout actually. And then I'm gonna give you the two videos, the glute blaster, the first one I did that talks just about the glute blaster and then the glute blaster with the power flow. So you've got two dumbbells. So now you've got three workouts. You've got one just with no equipment. You've got one with the dub two dumbbells and now you've got one with the Triform barbell. So Life Pro keeps giving us lots of options, great options, affordable options on how you can live fit and age well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye for now.